Hey, Docker developers and admins. This is Jack Wallen here to help you make tech work. Did you know that you can issue commands within a running Docker container? It's a very handy way to do things like update software, restart services, and much more. Even better, Docker makes this pretty easy thanks to the exec command. There are two ways you can use exec. The first is to gain access to a running container shell, where you can then run any command as if you're at the Linux terminal. To do this, you must first locate the running container's ID, which can be done with the command docker ps. With that ID in hand, you can access the container with a command like docker exec it id slash bin slash bash, where id is the first four characters of the container ID in question. Once at the bash prompt, you can issue the commands you require, such as apt dash get update, ampersand, ampersand, apt dash get upgrade. Once you're done, you can exit the container with the exit command. But what if you want to skip the first step and execute the same commands from outside the container? This is also possible using the exec command. Let's say you want to run the same commands for updating and upgrading the software in your container. For that, you'll still need the container ID and can run a command like docker exec id apt dash get update ampersand ampersand sudo apt dash get upgrade dash y, where id is the first four characters of the container id in question. Of course, you're not limited to just updating and upgrading your containers. Whatever command can be run from the bash prompt can be run from outside the container. Enjoy this new flexibility that comes with the docker exec command. If you want to learn more in the ways of everything tech, be sure to subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel and watch more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.